hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you have not already please take some time to subscribe and if you're returning thank you so much for the love continue to like and share my videos let me know what i can improve on i am always open to um i content ideas as well as criticism so yeah just let me know so today i figured that i would just come and give a you a quick 10 things to do before you travel to ghana yes guys i recently traveled to ghana um just to you know de-stress i was actually bit. supposed to travel earlier this year but um i was unable to obviously due to um the global pandemic that is currently you know going on and right now that started obviously back then so um yeah i'm just gonna give you um just a list of things that I think you should do to prepare you um, to travel to Ghana. And really, I feel like anywhere um, in Africa or even world worldwide, it can be applied um, to other nations as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Number one, I would say before you decide to travel to Ghana, make sure that you have some time off from work that you can stay home when you return right well that's actually like a prefix let's say before number one number one i would say make sure that you have your visa um ready if you are a u.s citizen then you know you are required to have a visa um, in order to travel to Ghana. So I want to say make sure that your visa is current. Make sure that your passport is not expiring within the next six months because, you know, that's never a good thing. So yeah, make sure your visa is current. Um, make sure it is not expiring within the next six months, six months, especially if you are planning to re-enter um, the United States within that time. Number two, if you don't have a visa, and then make sure you have an ECOWAS passport. Um, an ECOWAS passport allows you entry into Ghana. It allows you entry into most of the West African countries like Togo, um, Nigeria, Senegal, um, Sierra Leone, the Gambia, I believe, and just many others. Um, there are a few of the Francophone West African countries that are excluded. Um, I can't really tell you which one right now, but um, yeah, just make sure that if you don't, if you're not carrying your uh, United States passport, that you do have your ECOWAS passport so that you can gain entry into Ghana. Number three, make sure you have a yellow fever shot. Make sure that your yellow fever shot is current. Um, I had mine years ago. And at that time, I believe that they told me that it would it would only last for 10 years so it would expire within the next 10 years um but recently they have changed the rules and so i asked a nurse who um worked at the international airport Kotoka international airport in ghana and she actually i asked them that specific question that if you completed if you got your yellow fever shot before they change the rules does it still apply like does it still last for a lifetime or do you have to get it again and then that new one will then last you know um forever but then she said no um if you got it before they change the rules all you have to do is basically just um have them update have them updated in your um yellow fever card um and then you're good to go number four make sure you look for covid testing centers that provide pcr covid testing within 72 hours okay let me say that one again because that one's very very important make sure you look for covid testing centers that provide pcr covid testing within 72 hours of your departure right so before you decide or before you leave you leave before you leave um the united states you have to make sure that within 72, 72 hours of departure you have completed and received a negative results on a pcr covid now, test many 
centers provide these PCR COVID testing. Um, I know Passport Health provides it. Um, I know uh, various CVS has provided the Minute Clinic. Um, I know there are some neighborhood clinics that provide it. I'm your doctor can actually, um, you know, provide it for you. So ask around. There are many, many centers that provide the 72 hours PCR COVID um, exam. Now there is a catch. Some of these centers charge over $200. Some of them charge $200. Some of them charge $150, $130, etc., etc. When I was going, I decided to do a free, okay? A free, free. I decided to do a free PCR COVID test. And maybe I was taking a gamble a little bit um, in terms of doing it 48 hours before my departure because they had no appointments whatsoever available. Um, I actually did mine. If you watch my previous video, you'll see um, a step by step. How I did it. I did mine in um, at a Walgreens. So Walgreens has a drive through um, COVID uh testing center and you literally go through the drive through you have to make sure that you make an appointment prior to and now these appointments are like they get full really really quickly so you have to make sure that you're making an appointment at least let's say two to three days ahead of time um they also release the COVID testing, like they, they release appointments two to three days before. So if you want to make an appointment five days before, you're not going to be able to do that. So you have to keep constantly checking, right? So if you're a procrastinator like me, um, I would say set an alarm or just pay for one. I don't know. I just got lucky. But if you do want the free testing, then you have to be on top of things. I honestly got lucky because I did mine 48 hour departure. And luckily for me, <laughs> the okay, let me tell you this. The morning of, I was in panic mode. I was literally panicking. Um, I called the lab core where the results were going to be taken to. And luckily for me, I was able to speak to a sister who was very, very, very nice. And she was able to, she was able to, I guess, put into the computer that I needed the results um, today or not today, that day before traveling. Um, so I got lucky, lucky in that sense. I literally got my results at 4.30 p.m. I got my results 4.30 p.m. And I was supposed to be traveling that day at 6.00. Like I was supposed to be getting to the airport and checking in my bags at six. And I, I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't have my results. So yeah, please make sure that you are completing your test 72 hours beforehand. Now I can't speak to whether they have a 48 hour um, test or a one day test that is free. I, I don't know. I've done that kind of research, but I will say that with the free testing you have to make sure that you're checking constantly and making sure that you're making your appointment at least three days or two days ahead of time so that you're able to get um a test that is performed 72 hours before departure so that you can get your results um on time and i will put like a, a list of free testing centers in my description box um with links as well and you can also refer to my last video um, where i walked you through i would say or drove you through a um the walgreens drive through um and so yeah if you're a video person definitely refer to my last video if you're not a video person still still refer to my last video and look at the links and um um details in the description box for uh, more details in terms of the COVID testing and the PCR COVID testing. It's nothing to be afraid of, honestly. Before I got mine done, I was so, so scared, but um, yeah, it wasn't really that bad. <laughs> so yeah, number four, um, make sure you look for COVID testing centers that provide PCR COVID testing within 72 hours with your results. Um... Number five, now while you're waiting for your results, 
make sure that you're paying the COVID testing fee for Ghana arrivals and immigration. So I'll say that again. While you're waiting for results, make sure you pay the COVID testing fee for Ghana arrivals and immigration. I'm going to put a link down below. I believe it's Atlantic Health something, something, something. Atlantic Health something, something, something.com. But anyway, yeah, I'll put the um, exact link below um, and you can just click it and go directly to um, the site and, you know, make a payment. Um, if you pay online, they will charge you about a dollar and 10 cents less. Um, so it's supposed to be, 150 but if you pay online you'll pay like 148.95 cents so um if that's important to you then definitely complete yours online i just completed it online because i don't i, I just like the hassle free i don't like to carry cash when i'm traveling i like that hassle free type of you know travel so i just decided to go ahead and um pay for it online so I did that. Now, still while you're waiting for your um, results, you can go ahead and fill out the health forms needed for the COVID testing once you arrive in Ghana. So aside from paying for the COVID fee, there's another website, which honestly, I can't remember that one. That one's like shs.ghana.something, something, something, dot, something, something, something. So, okay. <laughs> so yeah still while you're waiting you're gonna go ahead and fill out the health forms um for the covid testing so you're gonna put in your uh name your information your um flight number um passport number where you're gonna be staying in ghana just different things of that nature you know just information um for them to have on you just in case you do test positive or even when you test negative you know just an information for them to have in the system health wise and so you're gonna go ahead it literally takes like maybe five five minutes I didn't know about I this but I had to pay for the COVID testing once I get there. But then once we arrived, I had to, um, you know, download uh, the health form and then fill it out, which literally only took like five minutes. Literally, I got off the plane, I started walking, um, and the lady came up to us and reminded us about the um, the health form. And so she gave us the website, we went on the website, and by the time we went through uh, to where the COVID testing was, it was, I had like finished filling it out and actually helped somebody else fill theirs out. So it's not as bad as you so, Yeah, that takes about 10 minutes or so to do and it's free. Um, you don't have to pay again. It's just health forms, just health information that you need. Kind of like when you go to the doctor's office and they ask you to fill out your information, um, you know, prior to them seeing you same thing same okay. format now still while you're waiting you can go ahead and print out a copy um of your confirmation from the first atlantic bank which is the 148 or 150 that you're going to pay online um so that you have it right because they're going to ask you for that before you de um before your departure so um whatever airline you're using will ask you for your negative covid results 72 hours um, completed 72 hours prior to departure and they're also going to ask you for your um first atlantic bank payment i believe i think some airlines also ask you for your health forms but mine didn't they just asked me for um payment of the uh covid testing on arrival so yeah make sure you print those out um i had mine on my phone but you know i just found it easier to print it out like next time if I'm going I'll probably print it out because it's just easier I can't remember what number I'm at maybe number nine or number eight I don't know but um make sure you look up your results right make sure you look up your results like I said and you know you can either keep it on your phone or you can print it out whatever you want to do I kept mine on my phone I thought it was easier for me to do so um but next time when I'm going I will print it out uh, if you have that extra ink you know in your printer go ahead and print it out um oh yeah another thing number nine or number 10 whatever i don't know what number it is but make sure you have a face mask make sure you have a face mask um make sure you have a face mask make sure you have a face mask 
if you want to you can have a face shield as well but honestly it's not needed um the flight that i took they maintained social distancing um and so there was nobody sitting seated next to me right and coming back was even like the bomb because i had the whole row literally the whole row including the aisle and the row next to it and the row next to it <laughs> i had it all to myself so yeah make sure you have your face mask um because you're gonna need it in order to get into the airport you're gonna need it when you um arrive you're gonna need it inside the airplane face mask face mask face mask um and um yeah lastly just make sure you pack try to pack as light as possible <laughs> If you don't have family in Ghana, if you have family in Ghana, obviously, you know that, that that's absolutely impossible. But yeah, make sure you pack, um, drive to the airport at least three hours ahead of time. I suck at doing that, but I think I did pretty well. Um, yeah, I arrived about two and a half hours before departure. So yeah, the, the, the airport was literally empty. So it was just easy breezy. You just go to the counter put your bags up and uh, they weigh it and you're good to go all you're doing is waiting right um so yeah make sure you arrive at least two to three hours ahead of time so that you know that your bags your luggages are checked in if you want to go out you can do that just make sure you're back before um um they start um i mean just make sure you're back in time for security and uh the whole nine yeah and Listen, don't be too nervous. Have a safe trip. Try to enjoy yourself. At the end of the day, COVID-19 is probably here to stay. Um, so you're just going to have to learn how to live with it. Try your best to stay safe in whatever you do, whether you're going to work, whether you're trying to travel, whether you know you're visiting family friends whatever whatever activity that you decide to partake in just try to you know follow the protocols that are set in place try to keep yourself and others as safe as possible you know make sure you have a mask social distance and don't forget to obviously eat healthy I try to eat healthy and um yeah remain safe as possible don't forget to social distance because it's very 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 important especially when you're um traveling internationally and um yeah just listen mental health is very important so if you feel like you need to take a trip in order for you to get yourself together then that's what you have to do. But in any case, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope my list of 10 or 11 things, or I lost count, I think it's 10 or 11. I hope my list um, is very helpful. If I forgot anything, feel free to ask me or let me know in the comment section and I will try to put everything um, that I spoke about in the, the description box so that you have it. I will also include my, um, the different links that I spoke about in the description box, um, for the free COVID testing. Um, please refer to my last video where I completed a free drive through COVID test. Oh, another perk. You do not need insurance for the free one. So if you don't have insurance, that one is definitely a plus. Um, yeah anyone is you know welcome to do that so yeah you guys go ahead and, and watch my my last video and like i said continue to stay safe continue to social distance continue to love one another stay logged stay lovely and don't forget to maintain social distance until next time if you're taking a trip outside stay safe and um enjoy I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Um, also hit that notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when I drop a new video. All right, guys, thanks for supporting your girl. Stay locked and stay lovely. Bye.